Just be very careful because it's actually a good bag. It's a doctor briefcase, but... So, yeah. He is part of the Stanford University Alumni Association. That's pretty cool. Stanford graduate. Duffel bag. 100 bands. Is there a doctor in the house? Doctor! Genuine top ground. That's all it says. Ooh. On three, two, one. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is I, your captain, speaking. I am here. We got Uncle Mike in the house. Let's get a round of applause for him. What do we got here? Um, all these are your things you put on for if you're going to cold. You should wear them. You're always cold. Really? That's kind of disgusting. Hey, look at that. What? Man, that's the man right there. The man, the myth, the legend. Willie Nelson. You going to dip that? No. What about Bronkenberg Concertos? Joan Armitig. Very weird. See, and then it just gets into paperwork. I don't even know what to say. You might listen to a little Willie here. You want those ones? No. I don't know what that means, but it also says fragile handle with care. So H dro I don't know. What is that? I don't know neither. My goal was to kind of just make some videos, but also just load everything and then save a bunch to film tomorrow or the next day. Ooh. What is that? 25 and 1 Solar Energy Electricity Lab. Hmm. That looks like something Spencer would like. I don't really it know. looks old. There you go, Spencer. You got a shout out. Spencer has been... Uh, oh, he's been wanting a shout out. Spencer, let me shout you out, buddy. He's been sad that I don't say uh, give him a shout out in my flea market videos. That might be something. No, that's an old church hat. Two of them. Elmita or... Oh, Uncle Michael. Just so he'll yell at you here. I don't, what do I do? Go in the trailer with it? Uh, I need to know what it is. Yeah. Two of two. What is it? It's very well packed, whatever it is. One of two, sir? It said one of two, but what? That is, I don't know. Images of Austin in the Southwest, streets of Austin. Okay, that's kind of tight. They really liked Texas, so that's a good thing. We have a lot of subscribers in Texas, so that could be kind of cool. This one was a must. It had to be insured. Check, 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 baby, check, baby. One, two, three, four. I think I'm gonna... Okay. Late Christmas gift. He didn't even. He didn't even care. He didn't even open this up. Love dad and money, and mommy. Wow. He didn't even open the gifts up. He just said, you know, I'm not even gonna read that one. I'm just kind of sad now. Okay. Most important. Um. What year was this? This was. 1978. 1993. Okay. We got some gifts. Look at that. What do you think? Your presents. You like my presents? Uh -huh, I get it, my presents. I think one's a tie. All right, you can open that one up. What did we get for Christmas? Follies, Kirk's Follies. Socks? No. Tie, I think. It is a tie. Dang, Uncle Mike. Bam, see, you need me on your storage list. I can see right through things. You imagine? And no, uh, anatomical chart. That's different. This is a shirt that match the tie. Is it? Yeah. I think it is underwear. I have to just guess something different than you just because. Oh, Cypress Lynx, made in USA. That sounds like a good shirt. I don't want to touch it because my hands are dirty, but there's his gifts. There's his gifts from 1993. Chuck, next time your mom sends you something, I'd appreciate it if you open it up. Um, maybe just enjoy it a minute and then give her like a, a reply, like a thank you or something, you know? That's what I recommend. Pretty obvious what this is. It says typewriter on it, and I know that's what's in there, but this might actually end up on eBay because typewriters are very hot items right now. I've been selling them pretty decently for the last year or so, just as well on her eBay. If you guys are interested in her eBay, link in the description will take you right to it. And she lists a lot of our stuff, the more smaller treasures we find and stuff like that. And there's that one rat. You couldn't make it, couldn't make it out. <laughs> There's another one way down there. Well, you look at that. The dead rats everywhere. They might get me. You see it? Let's see if he gets nervous too. 
you know? I'm starting to become worried about all the dust we breathe in. You're doing a ghetto fabulous job, Uncle Michael. As always. Look at that rat. We're gonna save these boxes of art for later on. Let me just take an idea what we got. Let's look for one that says high value. That's what I want to see. I don't think we've ever found a box marked HB, have we, Uncle Mike? In all my time of you helping me, I don't think we have. That's like your dream situation when you're moving a storage unit is that you get a box that says high value. This guy's got a root. Hmm. It's got arrows on it for some reason. Hmm. Matthew Smith. Let's take this one. Is it, do you think it is? Let me get a little bit of filming on that so we can be done if it, if it is. Sheets. There's some nice sheets still, huh? Definitely like one, two dollar bills in Stockton. These are chows. We're still looking for that dare to uh, make our money back item. That is a weird printer. And what else? Here, let me take some of this off. I want to get a box and toss it right into it. I'm just going to go right back into it, right? Once we determine what's in here. Is that a printer? It is. It's an old one. And that's just paper. Wait a minute. That tricked me, Uncle Mike clickbaited me it's just uh, office stuff i'd say let it go like that for now right dig a little deeper when we pull it out the flea market that goes all the way to the bottom okay now let me go here number 11 six oh wow wait a minute matthew smith 1995 is that valuable it's in good shape i actually kind of like that in a weird way it's kind of kind of trippy I have to look this up. This is one of the things that I was hoping to find in this unit was some nice art because of just where I'm at and et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know what model they are, but I, I'm willing to bet those are like a $200 bow set right there. Got to be careful with them. Number on them? Oh, yes, they do. They are 901 Series 5. I actually think those are some good ones. They're very artsy, mar modern Danish, you know what I mean? Yes, very That one's got rat pee on it, though, huh? Very Alameda-ish. I'll have to get some green. Be very careful because it's actually a good bag. It's a doctor's briefcase, but... You, what's... Is it just... I'm scared to... This is an expensive bag, I think. It's called a Hartman. And it's like an older one. I don't want to damage it. It shows it is open. I think it's just paperwork in it. Well, it's not damaged because this is probably at least a $1 to $200 bill. Bakelite handles. So you see in the quality here, that's kind of good. We just need to get lucky. The one thing that I'm a little, a little concerned about on this storage unit, not like extremely concerned, but not only has this person not been here for 20 years, but we only got one of the units. So it turns out the second unit here was small and it didn't look right to me. I didn't even really pay attention to it. Gee, there's a lot of book boxes in here, huh? There's a lot of books. Man, that is disgusting. That one's a fossil. Look at that. Yeah, it like got trapped under the desk and couldn't move. This one? Let's look inside of it first, because I think this is valuable. It is called the world's first book. The world's first electronic robot. Heroid. Heroid. Easy on the box. Don't compromise the integrity. You could do it. You can do it! That movie's that from What I like about it. Ooh, I'd ask you to not do that. And what is it? Oh, you see that guy? You see what he just did to my integrity line box? It's actually in there. It's brand new. Mm, yeah, it does look pretty brand new. Heroid. Heroid. The world's first voice act. I feel like I had this guy. Yeah, let's be careful because you already ruined the box. That marked it off like 200 bucks right there. Pre-owned is 250 on eBay, so I think we can easily get 250 for it due to the fact that it's brand new in the box. What if you loaded um on his feet and then the other one upside down? That might be money right there. The uh, Apple laser printer. We'll have to look at that. All right, this one says guest bedroom... Maybe it's the guest bedroom bag of money. Maybe it's the guest bedroom Louis Vuitton luggage. Nope. It's the bedding set that matches this pillow. That's not bad. That's a good $15, $20 box at least. This is marked very fragile. What in carnations is it? It literally is this thing on the side, which I don't know. An apple. Laser Rider Plus. That could be money because vintage Apple stuff is actually fairly valuable. So we'll take a deeper look into that. So yeah, 
he is part of the Stanford University Alumni Association. That's pretty cool. Stanford graduate. Uncle Michael's over here ruining all of our stuff, breaking the GoPro. You have to let him go, I think, guys. You have to let him go. Vote. One for let him go, two for keep him. Huh? That's a nightstand. Maybe they're in there somewhere. Dead spider. The white tees are vintage. Too bad they're not the right size because they're nice white tees. Think they fit your son? I still think they're wearing up a storage unit. Dude, these are like brand new vintage white tees. They're nice shirts. Your son likes white tees. Mr. Nicky, we are nothing out of storage. Nail core healthy quiz. 10 bucks so that's a VCR. Nope. I was wrong. Good thing he didn't bet me. I only wear stuff out of a store. I don't wear underwear out of there, but just about everything else. I'm gonna guess Sony. It's kind of vintage, but that could be a good one, actually. Cool. Take that part of the market, end up for like a $30 bill. Like load a row of books, and then I'll do the books at the market next time. Welcome to Multimedia, Mac Internet Tour Guide. Multimedia. Multimedia power tools. These could be some decent manuals. What is in here? 45s. No, man. Bitcoin. I wish that was Bitcoin. It was there before Bitcoin. Or I would be willing to bet this guy had Bitcoin. Probably has a, made a fortune off it too because he bought it a penny. Those are some nice boxes for the software though, because back then software was expensive. These books were ridiculously expensive. I don't know if they're worth much, but I will definitely. Oh look, I think these go to that shelf thing that you were just talking about. Duffel bag. 100 bands. 100 bands, 100 bands. In a club with the 100 bands. It's definitely not 100 bands. It's like a work bag. Heard. Cause I heard the bird, 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 the bird's the word. I said the bird, 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 bird's the word. I said, ooh. Lots of white tea, so hopefully there's some good vintage white tea seekers in Stockton this next week. This is weird. It's like a, it's like I'm going on a vacation and I'm gonna take my clothes, but I don't really care what they look like, type travel bag. Weird, all right, bummer. Got some brand new socks though. Some Nikes. I think I'm gonna dibs these. Because I like Nike. So there's Nathan's in oh. Wedding stuff? Who's that where it is, huh? All the wedding gifts that no one ever takes out. Come on, be some sterling silver. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Huh. Lennox China. The marriage plate. Hmm. Probably a nice Alameda piece, huh? Probably pretty common. I don't know. Yeah, definitely maybe better than Alameda, but we'll see. Ah. Oh, thought it was sterling. It just says Gorham Heritage. I'll have to look that up. There's crystal. I don't know the crystal. Nice though. Yeah. Mikasa Sukasa. Four fruits. That's for you. They're made out of a crystal as well. Oh, you're being your film. It's on you. I wasn't worried about that. I was checking my phone. Oh, let's do it on your own too. <laughs> Wedgwood. That silver plate. That piece. Nice, it's a little calendar with the birds. Weird stuff. It's all like just somebody's, it's like they got married and somebody bought them all this stuff. It's an empty box. Let's see what kind it is. Linux. It's Waterford. That is kind of nice. Yeah, here's a nice one. Auction? No. Maybe eBay. Uh, the shipping is very expensive and it doesn't go for very well. I do what should we do with it? Put it all back put it in here? I'll put it all right back in there. This is the overflow. This is the Louis Vuitton. Ooh. Oh, almost. Is there a doctor in the house? Doctor! I can see you in my office. I'm not going to get that kind of stuff because I'm beastie. You just... Are you going to finish? No, we got that one. Come on, nice, Rolex. Nice bag. Oh my gosh. It's really literally doctor stuff. Oh, you're nuts. Look at all those needles and little 
This is disgusting. Genuine top ground, that's all it says. Ooh, on three, two, one. Ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Ah, uh, it is something. It's like an award for probably being a doctor, a little lapis lazuli, and a little bit of 14 or 10 karat gold. Might have been a diamond ring. That could have been real good, real quick. Yeah, uh, 28 years what? Had it work? Yeah. Nice. What you got? Nothing. All right, we got Bowden the Nathan's Toys. Come on, Nathan's Toys. Something. Something be the money here for us. Nathan, please be in the unopened Transformers and uh, first edition graded Charizards that weren't out yet. Nathan. Nathan. We got Legos. And we got... Hmm, not bad, I guess. I don't know what the heck these are. Centurions. Orbital Interceptor. And they look to be in the box. Power Extreme. I don't want to mess them up because they literally look unopened. Or very little open. Maybe they have been opened and played with. Still, I'll have to take a look at those Centurion. I feel like I had these when I was younger. Oh, vintage. It's motorized. That's kind of cool. Let's see if it's complete. Locks blocks. The cheap Legos. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's something. That's a little more exciting than things we have been touching so far. That could be cool. Legoland Space System Galaxy Explorer. Not bad. We'll have to take a look at that. And then there's some Lego pieces down there. So that's what that's cooler than a lot of things we've seen so far today. This is about one of my favorite boxes thus far. What do y'all think? You know what I wonder now is if I did a horrible job of showing you all that because of the way I was in front of the camera. That's going to suck if it was, but at least we got a little bit of recap here. We got some towels. So trivial, huh? More towels. What do we got in his uh, suit bag? It's not a suit. Oh, we don't want to show you guys that. What? Is it little toys? Uh, Is it yeah, if you want to say that. I got it. Bro. I got it now. Oh, those aren't bad. These are. There's not even nothing to see there. I was hoping for something good. What's in that one? Ooh, he sure like briefcases, huh? I got some checks in there. He's a pediatric. He was a child doctor, huh? Is that what it was? That's kind of weird, huh? Verity. I don't know what that is. Hmm. It smells, and there's a jar in there, and then there is nothing, it's just a bag, so that's that. Very old sticker, he moved to North American once. So with what the today brings in store for me, I got an auction coming up soon today, other things, we gotta get on, get on, so. Wow, that is disgusting, whatever's going on down there. With that being said, we're just trying to load a bunch of stuff now, and we will film later on. See the difference when you push him in and when you don't this is my stack that's his he's he likes to leave them all flush i like to load tight that's why when we were movers i was better and see how when i push i push four he pushes three hmm. not as exciting as the last toy box Come on, million dollars in the Verity. Come on, baby. This whole this would hold at least a hundred grand. Yeah. No, it's funny is this sticker that then it got packed. Dodger Sportswear. Clothes bag. Alright, so nothing exciting in here. And some mail. Some mail! Here's the mail that makes me wanna wag my tail. Abacus on marble base. I got excited because I saw those box and I saw a penny. That's probably a few bucks actually, believe it or not. And another one. We can play doctor. Alright, I'm going to set those aside because those are definitely neat. The bag itself is kind of cool. And it didn't have the treasures I was hoping for being as it was a master bedroom box. But, oh well. On to the next, on to the next. 
very excited to get through into these pieces because they have a lot of potential. Foreign American. That is foreign. Is there more? I don't know. I just got, it didn't feel like it was booked. So. That's a pound puppy. That's a little bit of money. Pound puppy. Pound puppy. What company or what are they? What nationality. Mm hmm. Franks. This says Doctor. That's pretty tight. I wonder if somebody made that for me. That's a nice. Bet you that was a son's school project. Watch. Let me see. No. Armchair. Never put together, maybe? I don't know. This is looking kind of weird, guys. This is looking weird. Okay. A little something. Ooh, do we got another Matthew Smith? Yeah, this one says Ope. Nice, yes, Matthew Smith, 95. All right, he must have liked him. All right, guys, we're finishing up here at this storage unit. Uncle Michael had to put his gloves on. You don't see Uncle Michael wear his gloves too often. Uh, what is it? I would assume it's rat. If they peed that much? You don't think it'd be... I don't know, you look, it's rust. Here. That is absolutely putrid, guys. Putrid. That's a wrap to this video, I think. We got six, this done. Six blocks away. I'll Trailer see. loaded. I don't know. Are we going to make money on this? Are we not? We'll find out soon enough. With that being said, hit the like button, the share button, subscribe, and say something pretty like pirate. Hurry up and get video number three out.